Hi guys. iRacing's CPU bottleneck has been a thorn in the side of sim racers for years, but could they be about to change? Today, we're putting the Ryzen 9800X3D head to head with the 7800X3D in a brutally CPU limited VR setup. Will this upgrade unlock smoother racing or is it just silicon hype? Let's find out. We're running iRacing through Steam VR in a less than ideal configuration. Default settings that don't hit our target frame rate. It's not pretty, but there's a method to the madness. With the Pimax Crystal Super, we're locked at around 62 frames a second and hitting 95% utilization. There are ways to optimize, but today we're looking at raw hardware impact when the chips are down. Our rig includes a beefy RTX 4090 and 64 gigabytes of RAM, but we're on a B650 chipset, far from optimal. It's almost a worst case scenario for a CPU swap, which makes this more realistic as a test than upgrading everything and then crowning the processor king. And yes, we're running OBS for recording, that adds overhead, but it's a fair reflection of what streamers might experience. I've been using the 7800X3D since launch. It's a solid chip, outperforms the 9900 in my secondary rig, and leaves the 5800X3D in the dust. With OpenXR and iRacing's excellent DFR implementation, we can hit a stable 90 frames a second on the Pimax Crystal Super using the ultra wide config. But SteamVR, that's a different beast. We need serious optimization, likely dropping display quality and frame rate. Not ideal in racing where milliseconds matter. In this test, we're clearly frame limited, which is expected. What's surprising is how choppy things feel. Frame drops are frequent and the CPU struggles to keep up, compounding the GPU bottleneck. Swapping in the 9800X3D on a B650 board requires a BIOS update, installation, and you're off. Windows might ask for reactivation, but usually not. Heads up here, secure boot users may need to reset their PIN or password post BIOS update. Ideally, we'd reinstall Windows and our games, but let's be real, life's rarely ideal. So we're testing as is. Four, now don't four. expect Good miracles, the so CPU can't fix GPU limitations, two is zero, and frame rate two. gains are minimal. Best. But here's the kicker. The experience is noticeably smoother, frame delivery is more consistent, and the CPU keeps pace better, even if the GPU still struggles. That smoother delivery makes the sim more playable, though I wouldn't recommend it for anyone prone to motion sickness. What about the 5800X3D? Jumping from the 5800X3D to the 7800X3D was a clear win. So going straight to the 9800X3D from an AM4 based chip makes much more sense than upgrading from the 7800X3D. But it's not just a CPU swap. You'll need new memory and a motherboard, bumping the cost from £400 to £700 plus. Still, the performance uplift is substantial, especially if you're coming from a non-X3D processor. There's buzz that iRacing is finally working on updates to better leverage modern multi-core CPUs. If true, that could ease the pressure on single core performance and slightly diminish the edge the 9800X3D currently offers. But don't expect those gains to vanish entirely. And as with most things iRacing, there's no clear timeline for when these changes will be landing. Meanwhile, we've got two very different other sims to explore, the freshly launched LMU and our old faithful Assetto Corsa. One's a modest playground, the other a newborn with big ambitions. It'll be interesting to see how both respond to the 9800X3D's muscle under the hood. And I'll be having a play with those in the not too distant future to find out. VR pushes your entire system and a better CPU helps. 
but it can't outrun a GPU bottleneck. When GPU limited, we see improvements in frame timing and delivery, but not raw frame rate. The 9800X 3D makes better use of available CPU resources, and that shows in smoother gameplay. At nearly £400, the 9800X 3D isn't cheap, and upgrading from your already excellent 7800X 3D yields modest gains at best. But if you're coming from a lower tier CPU, say a 7600 or 7700, the upgrade might be more worthwhile. For AM4 users, the jump is bigger, and AMD's continued platform support means future upgrades are on the table. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the 9800X 3D and its impact on VR sim racing, give the video a thumbs up. For more ramblings on VR tech, sim racing, and technology in general, hit that subscribe button. And now I'll leave you with some puddle hopping. Until next time, guys. Bye bye. Off your best.